All right. Well, goes without saying, the night shoot was a blast, man. I mean, I really, really enjoyed it. You know, it was a long time coming. When I back when I just thought about getting some sort of night vision, you know, it finally culminated into that, where I, you know, I pretty much have what I wanted to have. I have to get figure out some air pro for the helmet. And those plugs, they they work, but you can't hear anything. Iridian did a great job. Fantastic. I love this gun. Shoots really well. That's all. Uh, and, you know, this guy did well. I thought he did really well. Toxic Avenger. He shot great. I was I was really happy with it. Cycled fine. No issues with the feed ramp, so I guess I was worried about nothing. My guess is shooting it going forward, it'll smooth out a bit more. I, mean, I can always still go get the bits and kind of polish that a little bit, but you know, I don't know why I was worried about it, but. I'm not worried anymore. However, I did identify a few areas and things I need to work on. I'm still having issues with the Safari holster. I ended up uh, taking it off. And thank God I bought the QLS. It makes it a lot easier. <laughs> um, there's no light on this right now, but... I just find it, I don't know if I have to dremel it down a little bit or just have to work it in and keep, you know. Because when you have a loaded chamber, especially under night vision, you can't really see very well. So you're going by feel and you're doing this kind of stumbling and shit. It's not, you know, it's not safe. So I don't know. Like that, I was rocking the 19 in it, and probably this holster is, is made for the 34. A lot of guys said you can run the 19, and it does fit, but maybe it's not a perfect fit, and that's why I'm kind of struggling. Um, need to pick up one more pistol light. Yeah, sure. Need to put some more work in with this FN, huh? That's not even on tight because I was fucking around with it. Okay. Yo! I'm coming! I'm leaving! Oh! <sighs> yeah, so, um,. I'm going to put some more work in with this gun. Great gun, though. It's pretty. So, yeah, when it comes to that Safari, I mean, I know they're solid holsters and stuff. I just, I, 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 I'm not filled with confidence, especially under nods, on, on a nice smooth, like that T-Rex arms that Scott let me borrow. I mean, granted, there's a bit very little retention but for the purposes of on the range type thing it was just no brainer in and out slid right in didn't have to have to fight with it so maybe i need a dedicated holster maybe one of those t-rex arms or wbs for the 19. let's see here even 34, this is for the 34. I get a, a, a little more resistance than I I wish. And I get it, it's supposed to be snug, but you can see, feel it pulling on that light a bit. Right there as you're exiting. So I'm wondering if there needs to be, maybe it's that inside material. 
it's like a suede feeling material. Well, part of me is like me, you just need to fucking keep using it and it'll like wear itself in type of thing. I gotta run the 34 next time. So, all right. So, where are we now? I've uh, got to grab some more ammo as soon as possible. Batteries, leave those in there. <laughs> Two, two, three round. Okay. I still haven't found those other batteries that I thought I had brought. I'm still convinced they're in one of these bags because weird man. All right, so I'm happy we're I'm really moving forward. Um, what's, what's the focus on? Now, there are things I need to tweak. I know with the helmet and the, and the Wilcox, one of the things I, problems I had was I wasn't seeing the red light, the indicator that tells you the onboard IR was on. Like in the video, you see, uh, where the, the IR was really bright, you know? Uh, so I have, to, I have to find my perfect setup on the G24 uh, here at home and then make sure it's dialed in both these space. So, so it's close enough to my eyes that makes sense and at the right height and at the right lateral position. So it needs to be tweaked a little bit because I wasn't seeing that red. It's also an indicator, like Larry said, that you're low on battery. So you want to be able to see that red. I don't know why I wasn't seeing it, but it must be the position. Uh, so I'll have to have, have to tweak that a bit. Um, I think today or tomorrow, what do I have? I ordered, uh, well that's next week or so, I, I ordered a sacrificial lens for the back of the PVS. Just a means of protecting it a bit more. It's got the front one. I don't know if I got the right iris, some dudes like Edmund. We're laughing at it. I don't know. I mean, what's a good one? I've heard a lot of negative stuff about the Matbox stuff. And at 250 a pop, you know, it didn't seem viable. Uh, so I don't know, you know. It's hard to gauge what's good quality, what stuff parts or guys are just throwing together from China and then selling it at a profit. I don't know. I took a chance. It seems decently constructed. It was, it was working. It just lets less or more of your light in, so... I was dialing it down and I was looking down at the table and I was able to see a little more clearly close up, which is all its, its purpose really is, right? And I guess to off to be some means of a sacrificial lens if it gets hit by something, I don't know. So moving forward, I just want to hone in, get everything, all the kit dialed in a bit more. I still need to figure out an ear pro solution when wearing the helmet. I know contacts are the way and all that, but you know, you're looking eight, nine hundred bucks. That's a big jump. I, know, I was looking at the Sordans for 300 with the neck band, with the thin band. Maybe I could wear those under. I don't know if that's viable or not. I was, I was also getting, after an hour and a half, I was getting a hot spot right here. My head started to hurt, so I might need to upgrade the pads or change a little bit. You know, now that I'm going to start using them more, so these things will come and, and it'll be tweaked as we go forward. So yeah, overall, really stoked, really happy with the progress. Um, yeah, that's about it, man. I mean, I can't think of anything else right now, so I'm just going to focus on uh, getting everything tweaked for the next go. I mean, I had such a blast. I was really getting into a zone with it, you know. It's a little discombobulating. 
It was funny, I was watching the video and that stupid McDonald's cup of that Diet Coke that I had, everyone kept knocking it over. <laughs> the barrel was upside down, so it was like concaved, right? And fucking, I'm doing this because, uh, you know, your depth of, of, uh, of view when you're on night vision is a little skewed, so you're doing this. You're trying to take a step and all that. And then Scott kept knocking it over. It's funny, watching the video the whole time, the cup is, kept falling over. All right, so I guess I'll get everything uh, back online, do some tweaking to the PV uh, to, to the PVS positioning. I need to focus on grabbing some more ammo. Uh, as far as my pistol work, I'm really doing well with that G19, man. I'm really starting to get comfortable with it. Um, I'd like to do some more work with the FN, you know. So that's coming down, like. Just do a dedicated pistol day. Maybe go to that family-owned range and bundle. Uh, need to start putting in some more work with the 34. It's been a while. I might want to look into picking up one of those T-Rex arms OWBs for the 19. I really liked it. There isn't much retention to speak of at all, but for the purposes of at the range and doing transition drills... It was a no-brainer, you know, it fit fine. I do still have that, uh, I don't know where it is right now, that Eclipse holster that's convertible. I have the parts to make it. It's not light-bearing, though. That's the problem. Uh, so I might want to look into picking up a decent OWB holster dedicated to the 19 and just leave the Safari, this guy, for the 34 and keep working it in and out. See, it does have that retention, but I'm guessing it takes time for it to really work itself in. I'm not noticing anything wearing down. It might also be the position. Maybe I have to tweak the cant a bit. Because if that's on like this, it's really forward. Maybe it would be more comfortable if the cant is articulated uh, a little bit like, you know, counterclockwise. And there's also the tensioning screws. I could mess with those, but they aren't really in there that much. So There's that SCS we still need to work. So far, it's been pretty good, but I haven't done much work with it, so I can't really say that for sure. You're right there where it engages the light. You have to give it a push. It's really tight there. It's almost like I should get in there with a grinder on the, on the uh, Dremel and just lightly smooth it out a little bit so it flows a little better but it's not bad maybe that retention is is good because it's 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 in there safe i don't know we have a lot of work to do in that respect cool all right, and the psionics, what can I say? Blown away by that camera, dude. I mean, that was... now granted, we had a huge fucking IR spill behind us at, at that club. They have one on each bay. Uh, and, you know, so, so under all that IR, the camera looked flawless. Now, how's it going to look in a truly dark scenario? I'm guessing a lot more freaking noisy. Um, so we're going to have to try to replicate that scenario and see... But for the purposes of just doing some transition drills under uh, night vision, that IR spill was a blessing, really. The only thing that was weird was all the shadows going on, but that's it is what it is. If it was off to the side of us instead of behind us, maybe that would lessen the shadows a bit. But overall, I thought everything went really well. We all had a great time. And uh, can't wait to go back and do it again. So, have a good week, boys. And have a great new year. Oh, Ken Block, huh? Yeah, I saw that last night. So sad. I love that dude. Dude was fearless. And all, and all around, really great guy. I feel bad for his daughters, his family, his friends, man. 55, huh? Snowmobile accident. Well, he was an adrenaline guy, you know? When you do those kind of crazy activities, it's like riding like Chris and his motorcycles, you know? You have to take, you have to accept the fact that when you do that kind of stuff, those for thrills, you know, the 
bikes and you know snowmobiling and you know crazy outdoor activities and you're taking jumps i mean there is that possibility that you're not going to survive you know that just goes with the territory sadly ken met his end yesterday um and that's yeah it sucks i, mean, I was really bummed out seeing that because i really really great dude he seemed like a really cool guy and I, i've been a fan of him for years watching his gymkhana videos and all the hoonan stuff and uh very sad way to start the year I feel bad for his family and, and all his fans. Uh, it, it shows you life is short. Live in the moment. Enjoy it. But also make choices that you're willing to live with. One could argue that these adrenaline junkie people that are out there doing all this stuff, yeah, it's, it's addictive and it's crazy and you feel alive, but you have to think of the family and friends that you're going to leave behind when you do go. You know, and that's... You know, like, that's a really tough call. You you want people you care about to fulfill their dreams and whatnot, but you also say, dude, that's kind of dangerous. You know, and sadly, people, some people don't fucking, fucking live to tell the uh, tale. And with Chris and his motorcycles, that's the case. And uh, with Ken, same thing. Some of it's just uh, bad luck, you know, but... Uh, it's it's sad. I feel bad for the family and friends that are left in the wake of the uh, horrible consequences of the potential when you're doing these d dangerous things. So, sometimes you don't make it out. Uh, I don't know. It's what it is. Rest in peace, Chris, and rest in peace, Ken Block, man. Keep on keeping on moving forward, dude. That's about it. See you later. Peace.